Hi friends, to evaluate RAG systems, we need quality data sets with questions, answers and the context based on which the answers are being generated. To create such data sets based on our custom knowledge basis, manually is very tedious and time consuming. Let's look at a library which uses LLMs to create such data sets based on our custom knowledge basis. Alright, uh, the library is called Giscard. So, we know at the very basic rack system has a generator and the retriever. The generator using the context it synthesizes the response and the retriever retrieve the context from the vector store. We can have additional components. Uh, for example, we saw uh, in one of the previous videos uh, with uh, adaptive and self-reflective -refle rack system, we have a question rewriter. So it rewrite the question in a vector database friendly manner so that the retrieved context is more relevant to the question. And we can have different types of routers as well. So it analyze the user query and it appropriate the query to the right uh, knowledge base. It could be vector database or it could be a web browsing, etc. Or we could even have routers uh, to, to find out the user intentions. Okay. Now this library, it generate six different types of questions or it categorize them uh, into six. Okay. So the simple questions and uh, in this table we have the description as well as which components which of these four components uh, are being evaluated okay all right uh, these are very simple questions uh, and then we have complex questions this is just the question is simple but it posed uh, in a complex way for example here we can see what is the capital of the country of victor uh, huge right so it's just uh, <laughs> rephrased to make it uh, complex right but the more interesting ones uh, are these three okay so here we have distracting question now let's look at this example Italy is beautiful but what is the capital of France now this part is not relevant to the actual question which is what is the capital of France right so here we are trying to distract uh, by adding some unnecessary information and then here we have situational questions so for example I am planning a trip to Europe what is the capital of France so by providing this situational context we are helping uh, the RAG system right for example here you will see the question including the user context to evaluate the ability of the generation to produce the relevant answer according to the context. So the context is actually helping in answering the question. And then we have these double questions which are basically just two questions uh, within a single question. So what is the capital and the population of France? So as we saw here, uh, one of the com advanced components in RAG systems is Rewriter. So the Rewriter, it write the question uh, are it split it into these two sort of sub question what is the capital of france and what is the population of france so that uh, the context relevant to these two questions uh, can be extracted as you know uh, the context can be at different places uh, in the document right so uh, within a context we might not find answer to both these questions. So by splitting this question into two, we will be able to extract uh, uh, the context uh, to address both the questions, right? So that's where uh, the rewriters can help. And then we have more of these conversational type of uh, questions. So based on, uh, so there is a previous uh, question context, the follow-up, etc. Okay, so let's see how to utilize this library on our custom uh, knowledge basis. All right, uh, so it's a simple uh, pip install, uh, the Giscard, uh, and then 
so here I'm going to use uh, Olama and the latest LLM Llama 3.1 from Meta. So we still are using this OpenAI client. Uh, that's just uh, uh, for the API. So we are not actually using OpenAI models, but we are just using uh, that API uh, so that we can access these Olama models. Okay. All right. So, and then here we have the knowledge base. Uh, this is our uh, knowledge base based on which uh, we are going to build the uh, vector index. And then we use this uh, to generate the questions. And this one uh, it just to read those uh, questionnaire. All right. So, uh, if you have used Olama before, uh, it's at this uh, URL. So the base URL. It's it's. Uh, hosted at localhost 11434. So I have installed Olama. I am running uh, this model Llama 3.1. Okay. All right. So we provide an LLM to the GIS card. And then we are making use of this Llama index functionality to read our documents. So Py, a mu PDF reader, and this a sentence splitter. All right. So we initialize these two and we are splitting uh, into chunks of size 512. All right. So here I have a document uh, which is this uh, climate change report. Uh, it's a PDF document, uh, I guess about uh, some hundred pages. So load the document or, and then uh, split the document into smaller chunks. As you can see here, we have split it into 305 chunks. Now we can make use of uh, these text notes uh, to convert these chunks uh, into a data frame. So here we just create a uh, turn this into a data frame called knowledge base uh, with just uh, one column uh, called text and here we have the uh, uh, chunks or the context. Okay. So if you have your custom documents uh, 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 in whichever format you need to prepare a data frame. Uh, it can have additional columns. Uh, we can provide uh, which columns we want to uh, build these questions on but it has to be a data frame. Okay. All right. So because this is only for testing purpose, uh, uh, it's going to take quite a while uh, to process all this data to create the uh, questions. Uh, I'm just uh, subsetting the data frame uh, to contain only the first 10 uh, chunks. Okay. All right. And then we use this knowledge base uh, from Giscard uh, to turn this uh, into a knowledge base of uh, Giscard uh, internal. Okay. All right. All we need to do is simply call this function, generate test set, provide the knowledge base. And remember, we have already uh, provided the LLM here. Okay. All right. And then how many questions we want? Uh, you can leave it by default. It's English. And we can also give this agent description, uh, which can help uh, a better. Uh, generating the questions. So here we are saying a chatbot answering the questions about IPCC report. Okay, so this international some uh, climate change uh, report. All right. So we that create a test uh, data set and we save the data set to this JSON uh, L format. Now, previously we saw uh, there are six types of questions. Now, if we want a particular type of questions, for example, let's say uh, uh, this rack system is going to be used only on this conversational mode. Then we can generate all these questions, all these 10 questions are uh, to be of type conversational. Okay. For example, so from Giscard, uh, let me just uncomment so that it's easy. So from Giscard, here we can uh, import the question types. So the complex questions, double questions. Uh, so you will see now. So here you will see those six types of questions as the complex questions, conversational questions, distracting questions, adding unnecessary uh, or irrelevant information, then double questions. So two questions within the same question. So you will see all those six types of questions. So import those and then in the question generator, uh, we can provide uh, the types of questions uh, we want. Okay. Here we are leaving it to default. So what this does is, uh, let's say we are generating some 60 questions because there are six types of questions. Uh, it usually split them into 10 each. So we will have 10 questions for each type. 
okay since i am generating only 10 questions i uh, probably have uh, uh, two questions for uh, some of them and only one question uh, for some of them all right so we generate the test data set and then uh, we saved it uh, already now this can take quite some time depending on the size of the knowledge base and the number of questions uh, we are generating and then uh, just loading the questions we can convert it to a data frame for easy uh, readability and here we have the 10 questions now as i said uh, let's look at this metadata so here uh, i'm just looking at this metadata and metadata contain these three keys okay so it contains the question type and then the seed document id so this refers to uh, the document id so remember we have 305 document but we filter it to only 10 documents right so the 10 questions are uh, based on uh, uh, which document id okay so that's the document id and it also provides topic uh, for all the testings i did uh, it just provide uh, provided this others but maybe if the documents are easier uh, it can even provide uh, the topics okay but anyway that's not important so we have the question type right let's look at uh, uh, the distribution so the 10 questions we generated as you can see two are simple two complex distracting situational and then the remaining two uh, for double and conversational okay all right so again i am not going to read these questions and answer but i looked at uh, some of them uh, those are quite useful and those are like uh, as if a human uh, created and real world uh, uh, questions okay uh, that's it for this video uh, thank you very much